Hey, what's up guys, I'm Ryan, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today, in this video, I want to show you the Tanix TX5 Max TV Box. Hope you guys like this video, you know the drill, sit back, relax and enjoy. Okay guys, like we normally do on the channel, let's start with a quick unboxing and I'll show you everything about this TV box. Straight away we can see this box supports 4K and supports H.265 codec alongside with the Ethernet port, Wi-Fi and over the air updates. Soon as we open the box, we are presented with the Tanix TX5 itself, let's put it to the side and this is everything you get in the box starting with the user manual pause if you want to have a quick read next we have a power adapter in my case the uk version we have a hdmi cable there is also an external antenna for the wi-fi and the standard remote control. I strongly advise you if you can get one of those air mouse. I'm going to review one pretty soon on this channel. Stay tuned for that. And there you have it guys, the Tanix TX5 Max running Android 8.1. It has four gigs of RAM, DDR4 in this case, 32 gigs of storage, and is rocking the M-Logic S905 x2 so as you can tell on the box on the side you have a micro sd card slot a standard usb and a usb 3.0 on the back of the box there's a spdif uh, optical port supporting 5.1 surround uh, ethernet port hdmi 2.0 and a place to plug your Wi-Fi external antenna. This TV box supports dual Wi-Fi bands, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. If you don't want to use Wi-Fi, you have a 1 gigabit Ethernet connection. And at the bottom, there's no vents, not much. It's the model of the box itself. And that's pretty much it for the exterior. Let's now put it to the test without any further ado. Let me show you what this box can do. I forgot to mention, as soon as you turn on the box, you'll see a, a digital clock display like those old VCRs. Okay, let's turn this on. This is the first time ever I'm switching this TV box on and we are presented with the Tanix logo. Let me speed the video up a bit. And there you go, the UI of this Tanix. It's, um, it's pretty clean in my opinion, so you have this big thumbnail, you can edit even the default thumbnails, you just need to press menu on the standard remote. You can also add new apps to the home screen, like I'm doing now, so you can select some shortcuts and you can also, like I mentioned, edit the standard ones by pressing the menu uh, button. The big Alice UX button takes you to a version of Kodi already pre-installed pre with this box. And here are the pre-installed apps. So you have Chrome, File Browser, Kodi add-ons updates, full Google Play Store, Netflix is already installed. You have the update over the air and the Android YouTube version. And over here it's the settings uh, menu, which you can also add the apps you want, similar to the home screen. Press plus to add the shortcut you want. And if you want to change it for some reason, just over the shortcut you want to change and press menu. If we look at the about, we can see this box is running Android version 8.1.0. And guys, sorry, my apologies. The video is not on focus for some weird reason. Anyway, there's the update. Um, the system can check for updates and fingers crossed new updates will be released for this TV box. All right, guys, moving on. Let me show you the storage. Out of the 32 gigs, you'll be left with 26 gigs to play with. In my opinion, it's plenty of room. Like I mentioned before, the TX5 Max supports over-the-air updates. 
at the moment we're running the latest version and hopefully we are presented with new future updates. The Alex UX button takes you to TV Center, which is basically a version of Kodi. Uh, this is the first time I'm running this app. And yeah, it's just Kodi. Moving on guys, let me install all the apps we need to test this box properly. All right, all done. But before that, let me just show you some particularities of this box. Uh, on the left side of the screen, um, there's a place where your background running apps will be. And if you press that trash can, it will kill any running background apps. There's no top or bottom notification bar in this TV box. Okay, first test we're going to do with the DRM info. For those who don't know what this means, DRM stands for Digital Rights Management. And this box only has the level 3, which means Netflix, no HD for Netflix, only standard definition, same with Amazon. Next, let's run IDA64, where we can see everything about the TV box. So the model TX5 Max. We can um, see it has 4 gigs of RAM and after I install all the apps for this test we'll be left with 18 gigs of storage, plenty of storage here. The SOC on this TV box, the S905X2, has 4 Cortex-A53 running at 1800 megahertz each alongside with the powerful Mali G31 GPU it's capable of native H.265 and VP9 4K video decoding and for games it's very good as I'll show you in a minute moving on to the network we can tell 5 GHz band is supported with this TV box and on the Android tab we can see this box is running Android 8.1.0 and the box is rooted as well. And here's the temperature with the box idling 42 degrees Celsius. And finally the list of codecs in the TV box. Pause if you want to have a quick read. Okay next test let's uh, run Netflix. Like I mentioned before you won't see any HD content here. Only standard definition. Even the supplied remote control won't be able to scroll like I'm doing here with the mouse. Also, Netflix won't be available for download in the Google Play Store. Let's play um, something here. Works fine, but you won't see any HD content. Okay, moving on to Amazon Prime Video, same thing here, no HD, I would say it's 480p, no more than that. Let's play a title, again, it works fine, you won't see any HD content. Next, let's try YouTube, this is the version pre-installed in the TV box, is the Android version and not the version you download from the Google Play Store. I'll leave the nerd starts on the screen so you guys can tell. And this box plays YouTube 4K beautifully. No lags, no stuttering, very good. Even if you swap to another video like I'm doing now, it's pretty quick, as you can tell. Very happy with this. Okay, moving on, let's um, first clear the background apps, like I mentioned before, this is all the background running apps, 
if you click that all gone good stuff let me show you the youtube from the google play store for some reason is not playing 4k content 1080p max i couldn't i couldn't do it i don't know why if you know why please leave it down below in the comments how to sort this out all right guys now something a bit more funny let's play some games let's start with the beach buggy racing it's not a heavy game let's uh, let me show you how it runs let me speed the video up a bit and guys please don't mind my skills i'm just showing how the game runs on this tv box nothing to report the game plays very very well let me show you another game let's try now angry birds not a heavy game but again this box has no issues no problems whatsoever playing this game very fluid yeah the gpu is doing a good job now moving on to something a bit more demanding asphalt 9 quite a heavy game let's see how this box copes with it I must say I'm quite a bit impressed with this TV box. I thought this game would um, would run slightly slower, a bit more lag, but no, the box copes quite good. It's not super fast. Um, yeah, it's it's a TV box. It's not supposed to be an Xbox or PlayStation, but yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. Let me show you. I'm just trying to do something here amazing skills i'm playing with the mouse i'm planning to uh, review an air mouse um pretty soon so stay tuned for that uh what do you guys think about this tv box i quite i quite like it to be honest with you for the price by the time i'm making this video it costs um 49.99 dollars so it's quite a good price for what i'm seeing so far I'll leave a link down below in the video description if you want to check it out. Let me now run another game for you guys. Let's play PUBG Mobile, another quite heavy game. Let me speed the video up. It's been a long video so far and we still have more tests to do. Please let me know down below in the comments if you think this video is too long and you like uh, something slightly shorter, something straight to the point, or if you're happy with this. Okay, PUBG Mobile, as you can see, is running quite well, quite good, and I need to get a good controller to play these games on the TV box. Let me just kill this guy here really quick, as you do. There you go. And because we need to test the TV box, let's kill another one. Amazing, look at that. He's trying to run. Aiming with the mouse. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. All right, guys, let's move on to another test. Let's do a speed test. Test the internet speed on this TV box. This Remember, this TV box has an external Wi-Fi antenna. It should do pretty well. Starting with the 5 GHz band, in this place I have 200 megabits connection, download and around 12 upload, and the box is doing 130, roughly 130 megabits download, and uh, I think it's quite on the max for the upload, I would say around 10 to 12 megabits. Now let's move on to the 2.4 GHz band. And on the 2.4, uh, 
we got 86 megabits which is less than half that we should have and for the upload around 10 megabits not very impressed with this result it should be slightly more and now using a wired connection using the ethernet cable we have 90 megabits download which in my honest opinion is not good enough um maybe it could be the cable i doubt it but yeah it is what it is and the even the upload um we stuck on eight megabits per second instead of 10 as we've seen previously and because i was feeling a bit uncertain about the result i did a second run and same results here so it is what it is and moving on to another test let's screencast a mobile phone to the TV box and on the iOS works really, really well. So you just press the screen mirroring button, standard button, and you'll see the TV box listed there. And there you go. Not much lag, it's pretty much instantly. Look at that. I tried the mirror cast for the Android, but I couldn't make it work for some reason but on the ios on the iphone it runs very very well i know that some of you guys like to try another launches so i installed a, a couple let's try with the nova launcher which is available for download in the google play store and it runs on this tv box without any issues i didn't test it too much but it does run i tested another one another launcher let's run the launcher from the other launcher <laughs> and it um it runs as well the heavy i don't know how do you how you spell it ev heavy and yeah it works it works all right so external launchers are available for this tv box and now guys let's um Let's play some uh, files from an external hard drive, in this case a USB stick. I'll leave the details of the file on the screen so you guys can check it out. Let's, let's try. Let's use the pre-installed version of Kodi, that big Alice button you guys seen on the home screen to run these files. And actually, I didn't sideload any app Everything you saw on this review was downloaded from the Google Play Store or was already installed, pre-installed on this TV box. I'm going to shut up for a while. I'll leave the details of the videos of the clips on the screen for you guys. There you have it guys, as you saw, this box had no issues playing any of the files from the external USB drive. Moving on to the last test, let's run some benchmarks, I'm not a huge fan of benchmarks, but I know some of you like to see the numbers, so let's start with uh, Geekbench 4, let's run it, and then we do the N22. There you have it guys, 681 for the single core score, 1876 for the multi-core 
for the anti two benchmark this box score 54605 and saying that guys it's time to wrap this video it's been a long one i'll leave a link down below so you guys can check this box out check the price sometimes gear best do some nice discounts in my opinion this tanix tx5 max it's a powerful tv box very competent has no issues playing any 4k files youtube 4k the gaming experience is quite good i do like the user interface it's clean easy to use and you can also install other launches if you wish to and that's all for this review if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful leave it a thumbs up it really helps and guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel i have more tech reviews for you more videos like this not just tv boxes stay tuned for that guys thank you very much for watching and i hope i can see you all in the next one